uh, Air Vice Marshal Sir George Parr, uh, last weekend you did something very unusual for a senior officer of the armed forces. I spoke. <laughs> you um, actually made a personal attack, didn't you, on the Chief Secretary of the Treasury, uh, no, Michael no, Fortier? No. <coughs> no, no, I'm sorry, you're putting words in my mouth there. I didn't actually mention anyone by name. No, not by name. And it but... certainly wasn't a personal attack. No, but, well, you did say the uh, blubbery-lipped lying dago bastard. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I, yes I, I did say that, and I, I, I think, looking back... You I don't think of that as a personal attack? <laughs> no, I think that my remark is certainly capable of misinterpretation. <laughs> And, and, and you've since apologised too. I have, I have apologised. And you did this after seeing Malcolm Rifkin, do you? Yes, I had, I had a discussion with the Secretary for Defence, yes. and uh, he made, I think, the very, very valid point that if I didn't apologise, uh, he would be in deep shit in the cabinet. <laughs> yes. It'd be wrong then to say that Malcolm Rifkin encouraged you to make this speech in the first place, wouldn't it? Oh, no, he asked me to make the speech. Oh, he did? Mm. Yes, yes, in fact, I, I didn't know he was a Dago until Mr. Rifkin <laughs> uh, pointed I mean, out. Th th this is in the context of a, of a, a conflict between the Treasury and the Ministry of Defence. These and two yourself, great departments of state, yes. yes uh, about yes. the defence budget and whether it's going to be one and a half million, billion pounds cut in it or, yes. or, um, or not. Or, yes. Or, um, here we have a big conflict, isn't there? The big conflict of policy between one great department and another great department. Yes. How are these things well, resolved? The, the sort of thing that happens is that a whispering campaign starts. Mm. Uh, we hear from the Treasury that they are think that we are very inefficient and uh, yes. cost ineffective and we take a journalist out to lunch and suggest that the Treasury are just a lot of mandarins pushing pens around mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they say that we're at the top a bunch of senile old drunks and we say that they're cowardly fascist Nancy boys. <laughs> And out of this, some kind of common ground emerges Absolutely, we, we, yes. between the two of you. Yes, say that you have come to a conclusion about how much manpower and how much equipment you're going to have then, mm -hmm. and they're going to pay for. Yes. What's it for? Sorry? <laughs> I mean, what is all the military equipment, all the... Uh, oh, I see what you mean, yes. Yes, yes. well, it's to, um, it's to fulfil our vital defence commitments around the world. Which are... Well, I, I, I don't know. You'd have to ask a politician. I'm just a, <laughs> I'm just a simple soldier. But, I mean, there are specific things. For example, you yourself in the Royal Air Force. The Royal Air Force base, you've got bases in, in Cyprus. Yes, yes, we do. Uh, and in Hong Kong. You don't, yes. know what, you don't know what they're for. Ah, now, you happen to have just um, picked on two things I do know about. Oh, that's yes. very... That's but, uh, Yes. Quite a chance, yes. Yes. <laughs> Shot in the dark, that was, yes. <laughs> a bit, yes. But I'm yes. very pleased to answer your question. Yes, of course, the purpose of our base in Hong Kong mm. is to prevent the Chinese simply walking into Hong Kong and, and taking it for themselves. <laughs> yes, well, the Chinese will, of course, take Hong Kong in 1997 when our lease runs out. Will they? Yes. <laughs> So it's very unlikely they're, they're going to invade it before then, is it? Um, on the other hand, if they, if they did, they would have surprise they, on their side. They would have, yes. <laughs> no. And what about Cyprus? Any well, Cyprus, of course, is for morale. Oh, morale, yes. yes it's what very is? essential in the forces that we keep morale high, and mm. they have very, very good beaches. <laughs> mm. We have these young men in, in very fast aeroplanes, armed to the teeth, yes. flying up in the air, what and it's, it's essential that their morale is, is very good, because yeah. if they... They get depressed. If, if they, they get yes, depressed, if they, if they, who knows what they might do. Yeah. And then they might, they might look down and see a queue of teenage single mothers. Yeah, um, outside, outside of, outside of a, a adult queue office, yes. somewhere. And, and uh, shoot them up. And, yes. Yes. Have yes. you uh, mentioned this to Mr. I have, uh, yes, I mentioned it to Mr. What, uh, did, what did he say about that? He laughed. <laughs> He talked about killing two birds with one stone. Yeah, well, I think we'd better leave that. Thank you very much.